Have you heard of Cocaine Bear? I know. I think is that gay porn? No. <laughs> Hottest movie trended on Twitter yesterday, based on a real story. In November 1985, a hunter discovered a dead 175-pound black bear mm. in Chattahoochee National Forest. Nearby was a duffel bag that had originally contained roughly 75 <laughs> pounds of cocaine. Oh, the man. unfortunate animal had apparently gotten into the blow and overdosed, later dubbed Pablo Esco Bear, I or simply it. Cocaine Bear. And now they're making a movie about it. Oh, I hope Pixar is all over this. <laughs> By the way, that's 85 before fentanyl. You know... <laughs> That bear would have been dead in two seconds, but he, at least he probably had a good run around the forest with that coke. Yeah, I know. But yeah, that's the thing, dude. You know, you've got to scrape the barrel. If you're not going to do more reduns of Top Gun, mm. <laughs> bears taking cocaine. That's what's happening next. That's gold. I love it. And nobody gets hurt. You can't cancel anybody. It's fun. He's bear's already a black bear. We're being inclusive. <laughs> Sorry, what'd you say? <laughs> the bear's not very happy. No, no. But you get a bear, you know, he won't really do coke in the movie. Mm, yeah, it'll be fake Coke, and it'll also be a fake bear. Apparently, he's on display. The guy, it's been, what's it called when you do it? Taxidermy? Yeah, taxidermy cocaine bear. Whoa. Serious shit. Still got the white stuff <laughs> on his muzzle and everything. Damn, that's awesome. Good for the bear. Yeah, I think he had a good time. Um, he another went out thing. happy. Like, he went out like Rick James. <laughs> <laughs> I remembered that tweet from that lady a few, it was about 10 years ago. Do you remember she, there was some lady that was flying to Africa? Oh, yeah, the AIDS lady. Fuck, dude, that story came back up again. What? I just, I, it resurfaced. Someone was reflecting it because it's nearly 10 years since it happened. Sure. And that was still, that was like cancellation before cancellation was right, a thing, really. Right. So for the people that don't know, this lady was flying to Africa, South Africa, I think, and tweeted, um, going to Africa, hope I don't get AIDS. Just kidding. I'm white. And she got on the plane with a life and a career and got off the plane and it was all gone. Yeah. Poor gal. That's not a bad, that's not that bad. There's a lot of AIDS in Africa, uh, not really amongst the whites. I mean, if you go with the statistics, I'm with her. <laughs> hey, you know, it's a funny joke, but uh, that should be a miniseries. Like HBO, you know, like Black Mirror and all that. How about all the true cancels throughout the last, you know, get Kramer in there, get uh, the AIDS lady, get Roseanne. Remember the Ambien tweet? Wow. That, that would, would be, be interesting. Show. That would be good. Each one is a different character. Each one is a different story. Yeah. Cancellation through the ages. Exactly. See what they had and see what they lost. Roseanne had the biggest show on Netflix. That went away. You know, that that's fun stuff. Mm. It seems like, I mean, is there anyone, Trump gone, now back? There's no one really that's too big to, to topple, I don't mm-hmm. think. Is there anyone that's outside of the cancellation verse? Chappelle seems pretty uh, invincible. Yes, he's quarantined somehow. Yeah, I don't know how. I think he just doesn't care, and he's a cool black guy, and he, he sells out everywhere. If you have the capital, you can kind of beat it. I lied. J.K. Rowling. Ah, there's another one. Capital. She's a zillionaire. Yes. I think ability to earn people money is just a protective mechanism, right? Huge. Like, why would you kill a golden goose? Right, right. Yeah, which is kind of fun because it shows how much bullshit a lot of this is because they're like yes that's horrible oh wait ching 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 you know <laughs> let's not say it about her let's not say it about him oh he doesn't how much is he net per year 10 mil no yeah we can get rid of him exactly yeah alec baldwin's still working wow fuck dude that's insane uh, that's, uh, talk about a life changing like that bro brutal poor guy <laughs> well He's back on filming the same movie. Is he? Yeah. Oh, man. Imagine that one year, finally we get back to set. (laughs) Jesus Christ. Yeah. Jeez, I hope they got a new um, prop guy. You know, that gun guy, whoever that was, or that lady. Ah. Fuck, dude. I mean, that's that's one of the wildest, one of the wildest. And that's just gone. You know, that's just like in the past. And that, that feels like it was the same as the... AIDS lady, 10 years ago now, but it's not. What's happening, people? If you enjoyed that, then press here for a selection of the best clips from the podcast over the last few weeks. And don't forget to subscribe. Peace.